So the one thing is like sort of when I go through your resume and you sort of talk about sec DD and then slang and then you just kept going, it does seem like you just had success after success after success. So one question I have for you is, was there any point in your career where you failed? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, you know, it, it's biased, right? Like you, the, you, 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 you hear more, you see more, if you Google me, you'll just see a lot of stuff uh, written, right? Be careful what you, about anything you read on the internet, right? And, and more is written on the things that worked well than the things that didn't. I don't know why, uh, but I can tell you that I learned a lot more from the things that, that didn't work well, right? So as an example, um, I, your, your roommate mentioned Kydex. We, we pronounce it that way, slightly different. Um, well, look, was it a success? Was it a failure? I, it failed in that it didn't make me billions of dollars, but it succeeded in that it was one of a tiny handful maybe 1% of software companies founded in 2000 that returned money to investors, right? Almost everything was a complete flame out from that, from that vintage. Why? Because they raised money at the height of a dot-com bubble. So I don't know, are we in a bubble now? Who knows? But I, here's what I learned from that experience. Don't believe any hype, especially your own, and certainly not the market hype. Right. So when I started that company with almost no effort, I raised $15 million practically overnight. It was straight downhill from there. Right. That was the high point of the company because the dot com bubble burst a week after I raised that money. And it became almost impossible for the next four years to raise any money at any terms. Right. And yet, why do I think of it as a success? Well, it was because we returned money to investors and the, my co-founders and I all went on to do interesting things. Uh, one of them is a senior partner at Goldman. Another one is a congressman, U.S. congressman from the state of New York. Another went on to become president of the New York Stock Exchange. You know, we all, we all did interesting stuff and Kydex really got us going. But why it was especially valuable is that we had raised some money and we had to build some software that got to cash flow break even with real cash paid by real customers who had the unbearable pain that only we could solve, right? All the hype went away and we just had the hard reality of selling subscription enterprise software in a time when no one had heard of the term SaaS, the term SaaS did not exist, right? So we had to invent all of that and invent all the software and the software had to work and it had to be on time and on budget. And that terrible, ruthless discipline really was what I brought with me when I, when I rejoined Goldman Sachs after Kydex. And I had the opportunity, and you were the victim of it, to apply that kind of ruthless methodology of getting software done on time um, at the scale of Goldman Sachs. So, so that's something I learned immensely from. I learned how to sell enterprise software. I, I would say I learned more lessons from that. And then my other lesson was, you know, the the dot com, uh, uh, sorry, the financial crisis, right? The the, the collapse of two thousand and eight. I mean, that was an epic failure in every possible direction. For Goldman, it was not a financial failure, but it was a reputational uh, calamity. And so uh, digging ourselves out of that and then embracing regulation, right? Which was something where I had a, 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 a role where I learned a lot. I, I was sent out to go explain our business to the regulators and build trust with the regulators at a time when that trust was completely absent. And so generally, while the failures were deeply unpleasant, um, they were really important uh, ingredients of later successes.